NASA's Webb uncovers dense cosmic knot in the early universe. Since NASA sent James Webb Telescope on its journey to discover the universe, it has already surpassed the Hubble Telescope discoveries. As time passes, the enthusiasm of scientists and followers, who tend to take much interest in what's happening in our universe and different matters related to the universe, is getting more and more excited. Frankly, who doesn't want to know about what we are surrounded by? I guess everyone, right? NASA's latest studies through Webb have been phenomenal and applauded worldwide. Some great things have been discovered since then. Today, we are going to talk about the latest and in some scenarios could be the most significant discovery in recent times. So, before we go deep into it, press the red button to stay tuned to our latest videos. Let's jump right into it and see how deep this will be. The Webb Telescope is currently in orbit and has been gathering much data since its launch in March of 2018. A few days ago, NASA discovered a cosmic knot that's 1 billion years old. Pretty shocking, right? Astronomers studying the early cosmos with NASA's James Webb Space Telescope found an unexpected discovery. A cluster of enormous galaxies growing around an incredibly hot quasar. The findings will help us better understand how galaxy clusters in the early universe come together to form the cosmic web we see today. A quasar is a form of the active galactic nucleus that is a compact area at the heart of the galaxy with a supermassive black hole. The quasar is illuminated by gas falling into a supermassive black hole, making it brighter than all the stars in the galaxy. The headline of March 4th came out as NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, the most potent and complex space observatory ever built, has identified a massive knot of gas in the early universe that's only 1 billion years old. Astronomers looking to the early universe have made a surprising discovery using NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. The knot they found is 50 times brighter than similar objects, making it one of the brightest objects of its kind in the early universe. The team used observations from Webb's near-infrared camera spectrograph to study three bright knots detected by other telescopes. Still, it was not known to be part of this newly discovered population until now. NIR-CAM is a wide-field camera designed to observe an infrared light. At the same time, NIR-SPEC is a spectrograph designed to observe infrared light. The knots are massive cosmic structures that exist at extremely low temperatures and densities, making them one of the brightest objects of their kind in the early universe. The team also found that these knots from around an extremely red quasar named 3C273. This suggests that these knots may be associated with new stars or black holes as they form within their host galaxies. The researchers utilized telescopes near infrared spectrograph to study the migration of gas, dust, and star material in the galaxy. This powerful equipment examines the movement of numerous outflows and winds surrounding the quasar using a method known as spectroscopy. NARSpec can collect spectra from several points in the telescope's field of view simultaneously, allowing Webb to analyze the quasar, galaxy, and environs simultaneously. Previous observation by NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories drew attention to quasars' tremendous outflows, prompting astronomers to conclude that the quasar's host galaxy was merging with an unknown partner. However, the scientists did not anticipate Webb's NIR-spec data to clearly show that at least three other galaxies were spinning around it. The movements of all the surrounding material could be tracked thanks to spectra across a large region, leading to the conclusion that the red quasar was, in reality, part of a tight knot of galaxy formation. At this early stage, there are few known galaxy protoclusters. It's challenging to locate them, and very few have formed since the Big Bang, said astronomer Dominika Wiesolak of Heidelberg University in Germany, who co-led the study with Webb. This might potentially help us understand how galaxies grow in congested settings. It's an exciting outcome. It has been called a knot because it appears to be dense and tangled with other clumps of gas and dust. The knot contains more than 100 million solar masses, roughly equivalent to our solar system's mass combined with all its planets. NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope first spotted the knot as part of a multi-observatory study to identify knots and arcs in galaxy clusters which are regions densely packed with galaxies. These observations were made using the Hubble Space Telescope near-infrared camera and multi-object spectrometer. The knots and arcs are essential for understanding galaxies' evolution, 
because they can be used as probes of intergalactic medium. The study found that some of these cosmic knots have been wrapped by gravitational interactions between their host clusters and other nearby objects like small satellite galaxies or dark matter halos surrounding them. This research is affected by a study published by the Astrophysical Journal Letters. In a study published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters, NASA James Webb Space Telescope, the most potent and complex space observatory ever built, has identified massive knots of gas in the early universe that's only 1 billion years old. The study was also supported with data from NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope and the European Space Agency Herschel Space Observatory, as well as ground-based observation in Hawaii, the United Kingdom, and Chile. The knots are dense regions of hot gas where galaxies are forming and interacting with each other. The knots are located inside galaxy clusters and can be seen as bright dots against the background of space. NASA's Spitzer Telescope first spotted this particular knot as part of a multi-observatory study to identify knots and arcs in galaxy clusters. It was found by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, which has been orbiting Earth since 2018. This particular knot has a mass equivalent to about 100 billion suns, that's 50 times brighter than other similar objects. Hubble's observations have revealed that these knots are arcs. They appear distorted by the gravitational pull of other galaxies, which often reside in dense clusters alongside galaxy clusters. This also suggests that they may be essential to probe the intergalactic medium. However, the team found that most of these kinks are not caused by interactions with other galaxies or dark matter halos. Instead, they appear to be formed when the intergalactic medium flows into high-density regions in a galaxy cluster and starts to cool down. The team's findings suggest that the largest galaxies in a cluster can be as young as 10 billion years old, which is much younger than previously thought. This age limit is also consistent with observations of nearby galaxy clusters, suggesting that mass of these objects may be determined how fast they grow over time. Galaxy clusters are the largest gravitationally bound objects in the universe. They contain hundreds or even thousands of galaxies and can span up to a few million light years across. The analysis also revealed that the knots and arcs in these galaxy clusters are extremely hot, some tens of millions of degrees of Celsius. This is due to internal heating caused by the shock waves generated from galaxies colliding. The knot is a strong source of radio waves and X-rays, which means it's also an active galaxy likely to host a supermassive black hole. These types of objects are sporadic, and only one other such object has been found so far in this cluster. This is a fascinating discovery. It's important to know that although the team studied this knot for years, they didn't actually see it as an object until Webb was able to take very high-resolution observations with NIR spec and NIR cam. This is why we are so excited about what Webb has revealed. NASA is also very excited to make more discoveries. We hope they are as exciting and significant as this. Webb has done an incredible job till now, and we hope it doesn't leave orbit. Folks, we hope you enjoyed this video thoroughly, and thank you for supporting our efforts. Keep coming back to the channel. Do like this video and leave us a comment. Please make sure to smash the subscribe button for more future updates. Until next time, take care.